Oh, did I do Gemini? Gemini. Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope. So, now, what I was saying earlier to Taurus about Mercury a couple of days ago being where it's going to be when it goes direct again, that's true stuff. So, we're already in the Mercury shadow period. And this is not Mercury retrograde. So, don't make a mistake about that. But Mercury is slowing down. It's in your fourth house. Fourth house is a fairly conscious house. It's a house that deals with memories. It's a house that deals with family. It's a house that deals with your tribe, your feelings of things. And there's Jupiter there, so there could be a sense of exaggeration. Also, wealth and good fortune. It's also the house of older relatives, especially your parents, grandparents. Um, some systems say especially the father. Um, you know, Vedic, they say especially the mother. <clears throat> I mean, I think the mother makes sense. Fourth house, kind of like the moon. Um, but it's also our heritage and our legacy. So all of these things, we're learning about stuff. Um, Mars and Saturn in the seventh house, not a groovy relationship time because I mean, think about it. You know, you got Venus and Mercury loosely squaring, you know, Mars and Saturn right now. This is not fun. You know, this is a lot of hard conversations, a lot of frustration between maybe a partnership you're in and your family and how they feel about it. <clears throat> um, and in the relationship, it's like maybe it's a good relationship with a lot of passion and a lot of maturity. That's possible. Okay, that's the best scenario. It's live and let live. It's all Sagittarians. But, you know, when you have two malefic grahas, two malefic planets, two planets that potentially could do a lot of damage in your relationship house. Uh, I think it's time to pay attention. Hello. Um, Mars's purpose on the higher level is to get rid of evil. And sometimes one person's less talkative, more receptive, kind of going with it, but you don't know what they're up to. And then there's Saturn. What does Saturn do in relationships? Well, I mean, it can make it a mature, stable, relationship it also can make it a depressing relationship one where you feel stuck you can't move you can't get out of it you think you're in it for the long term so there's a lot of anxiety you know here in this department <clears throat> they're like what is the remedy cosmic cab well spiritual life for one thing neptune chiron and, and pisces and in your 10th house elevate it you know get a better vision for what you really want and um Go out and socialize. You know, Uranus in there, oh, probably something exciting will happen that will make you uh, wonder why you were doing what you were doing. Mm. 